Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dane Sharp, and you're watching Sharp Moves. Uh, so today I wanted to do a little uh, video. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys uh, about my two little buddies here, so I wanted to just you know take some time and uh, introduce these two little guys and tell you a little bit uh, a little bit about them. Um, he's sort of an ash color, uh, which is why we called him Ash. He's got beautiful green eyes. Um, he's about two years old. Um, yeah, we've had him for a couple years. Um, got him when he was a baby, but uh, he's been amazing. He's probably the most excitable, high-strung, sort of crazy Frenchie um, in existence. Um, you know, this guy never never sleeps always ready to go always ready to play and actually loves loves squash balls actually doesn't like being held either but loves loves squash ball let's get on squash ball hey you actually want squash ball yeah i think he prefers carrots actually they prefer carrots much more there you go boy there you go sit sit boys sit good boy sit ash go belly good sit Good boy. All right, our second boy is Bentley. And Bentley is our OG of the family. Uh, we've had him for about four years. Got him when he was a baby puppy as well. He's a blue Frenchie, purebred, purebred blue Frenchie. Um, and is about four years old now. Um, he's been a really, really good Frenchie as well. Um, no health issues, actually. Ash has had a lot, a lot of health issues, uh, but Bentley's been perfect from, from the start of when we got him till now, knock on wood. It's been really, really good. Uh, the two boys are complete sort of contrast of, uh, of sort of energy levels and personality. Bentley is the type of, type of boy that loves to just relax, chill, loves to sleep and sort of hang out. Um, and you know, obviously, I told you that Ash is, is our sort of crazier Frenchie. Both of them love to play, uh, and are are both sort of tons and tons of fun. But when when we're not engaging with them, um, Bentley loves to just sort of go and hang out and relax. Whereas Ash is just non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. As you can see, he's like ready to pounce, ready to pounce here. And they love to sort of play with each other as well. So Ash is about two years old. And he's had a lot, a lot of allergies in the last little while. Um, allergies to food, allergies to um, allergies to like the elements, allergies to sort of grass and like you know little little things outside, um, um, like sunflowers and any, you know just just little plants and stuff of like that that he's exposed to on his walks. Um, so we've had to alter his food countless times. Um, you know, experimenting with different foods and stuff like that, and um, you know, trying trying to see what what works and what doesn't work for him. But he's actually the ultimate thing was to take him to the doctor when he started getting really bad, um, and uh, and get him on some antibiotics. So he's like basically on antibiotics, you know, going forward, um, which which keeps him from. Um, he just just gets very like sort of pink and starts itching himself and scratching, and you know, then he, he actually causes himself to bleed a little bit. Um, so. He's good now, but uh, definitely on a, a good diet. Um, so we feed them sort of human food. We boil pork chops, um, and then we steam some rice and add mixed vegetables to it. And we just blend all that in. Pork chops all chopped up and everything, and uh, and then we kind of just we kind of just use that. And we keep a whole big batch uh, in the fridge, and we feed them a cup of it with a little bit of water twice a day, breakfast and uh, and dinner. So. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, this is their little sort of little humble abode. This is their little sort of nook of the house. As you can see, there are some of their favorite toys. They've got a little, little dumpling here. Um, as I said before, Ash is a big, big squash fan. He loves his little squash ball. He loves his squash ball. Uh, one of his other favorites is the, the burrito. Is the burrito? Alright. It's going to be hard to get them to play with anything because they know I have carrots and they, they're obsessed with carrot. Obsessed with it. So let's see how we can get them to, to sit. Boys, sit. Ash is already doing it. Sit, sit, Bentley. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Excellent. Good. Uh, so yeah, this is our little sort of thing. We have two cages for them. Um, they go in here every night. We try not to sleep with them because they're, especially this guy, is like very, very rambunctious. Um, Bentley goes straight to bed, but the problem with Bentley is that he uh, he won't. Uh, he'll go to sleep, but he snores like crazy. Snores, snores, snores like crazy. Um, so, a couple little uh, things about Frenchies. They're actually like the best possible dogs to have. Um, really good with kids. Um, you know, good energy around the house, you know, never, never bark, never bite. This guy barks a little bit, you know, if he hears something outside, but it's not non-stop. Bark, bark, bark. It's just one bark and then he runs over there and then, then that's kind of it. Um, it's not a, a you know, a, a, you know, sort of body, body chilling sort of bark. It's just one sort of bark. You know, look at the size of the guy. You can only, you can only get out so much of a sound. Um, Bentley really never barks, never barks. Um, so in that respect, you know, the dogs have been really, really good. Amazing dogs for, for kids. Um, you know, just fun to be around, you know, the kind of protective of each other, protective of little kids and stuff like that. Um, not too aggressive. The one problem is that they, they do jump up a little bit, especially um, Ash, just because he's, he's kind of, you know, got a lot of energy. So he tends to jump, he tends to jump up on, on little kids, but well, we don't have kids here, so we haven't really trained that, but um, just not super aggressive. Very, very sort of like, you know, mild, loving sort of temperament from the, from the guys. Um, in terms of shedding, they're, they're short haired dogs, so there's not a lot of shedding. Um, you know, the odd time, you know, every few weeks we, we go around and we sweep, but nothing really, no build up like noticeably on the floors or the couches and stuff like that. If you had white couches, Maybe if we had white couches, we'd see this guy, his, his gray hairs a little bit. They have really fine, fine hairs. Um, but nothing, nothing crazy to the point where you're just destroying your, your car interior or anything like that. They also have short, short um, nails as well. Um, so, you know, when they jump up on you and stuff like that, they're not scratching you. And so now obviously we, we trim up the nails, but not scratching you when they jump on you. This guy weighs probably, you know, 20 pounds. Ash is probably like between 15 and 20 pounds, both fully grown. Um, so yeah, just really, really sort of good dogs in that respect. Um, you know, when we take them out for a walk, they get a lot, a lot of attention, a lot of attention. Everyone wants to stop and ask, um, you know, what breed they are. People are stopping on the side of the road saying like, hey, oh, beautiful puppies, this and that. So that's kind of cool. Um, they're obviously both boys, even though Ash does look kind of like a girl. Um, but uh, yeah, both boys. So Bentley, as I mentioned before, Bentley is a purebred blue Frenchie. And it's weird because he's called a blue Frenchie, but he is gray, he's dark gray. Um, if you see him on the light, he actually has little sort of shimmers of rust through him, rust color through him. Um, and then Ash is a lilac Frenchie, and he's like kind of a more exotic sort of Frenchie. He's cream with like sort of shades of um, like highlights of uh, dark gray, kind of like Bentley actually, but um, what's cool about Ash is that he has these tones of pink um, and again when his allergies start to act up he gets very very pink through his ears, through his like his jowls, his eyes, around his eyes. It's actually, he looks really really beautiful but it's when he's more and more, like he's when, it's when he's more sick. Uh, so we actually try not to see him in that, in that sort of light but very very pink and you know even if you're looking at his ears right now and his nose it's very, very pink. But what's amazing about him is that he's got these beating, beating, like green, green eyes, uh, which is really, really cute. Come here, Ash, come. Come, 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 come. Here, come, 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 come. Come, come on, come, come away, come. Here, come, good, 
Take it. Good boy, good boy. So they're both really, really cool. And they both are like extremely lovable to each other as well, which is very, very cool. Um, they really, really take good care of each other. Um, so kind of like brothers, they really sort of look out for each other. They lick each other. And they're really, really sort of good to each other. Ash doesn't really like to be picked up too much. Again, it goes back to this sort of rambunctious sort of tone. He's, he's a little bit crazy. Much prefers to be sort of all, all over the place, running around, sniffing things. He's, he's curious. He's only two years old, so I think he's still trying to figure out the world. Um, ben is kind of like our, our you know, our, our veteran, our, our kind of our OG. You know, he's been around for, for from the start. So he's a little more um, kind of relaxed. Um, Probably something to mention is when cleaning these boys, they, they have these little jowls sort of here that, that really need to sort of be, be cleaned out. They get a little bit of sort of sleep build up and dirt build up in there, just, just their breed. Um, so when we clean them, that's, that's kind of like the, the number one area just in here that we have to get when we clean them out. Um, but um, yeah, other than that, they, they've been really, really good. Um, Talking about price, I think, you know, the dogs are, they're obviously amazing dogs, but they are a little bit on the pricey side. You know, they go from anywhere between three and, you know, upwards of probably six grand. These boys were probably like, I think these boys were $3,000 each. Um, so, you know, definitely an investment. That's just to buy the dogs. Obviously you need all the other things that go around with them. And these guys are a little bit susceptible to, um, to having health issues, obviously because of their face and some of that. Um, so a little bit more pricey than like say you know a terrier or you know um, you know a British bulldog or something like that. Come here, man. Um, but really, really well, well worth it. Um, so um, they also have not health issues, but they do have health issues, but um, just physical sort of <laughs> limitations. Um, when we take these guys out for for walks and stuff like that, um, they take these guys out for walks, they're only really able to go so far, um, especially Bentley. Bentley can only really go, you know, like a half hour walk and then he's absolutely cooked. Um, but Ash is pretty good. Ash can last a fair, fair bit of time. Uh, but then they come back and they straight to, straight to sleep for, for hours and hours and hours on end. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing this video just because, you know, a lot of you guys have, <laughs> have seen these two boys. Uh, in my previous videos around the, the house doing my workouts and stuff like that. Um, yeah, feel free to comment in the, in the section below in the description and uh, let me know if you want me to do some more videos uh, with these boys. I've got a couple of little ideas lined up, um, you know, to, uh, to get them back on the channel and uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure we're going to be featuring them in, in a lot of other videos that I do sort of around the house. Um, yeah, so thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. All right, bye.